This is hydrogen tap. Been doing some improving on the cell, the focus cell. I'm going to show you that. I think uh, it's going to make a lot of difference. What I've done is improve the electrode that comes through. Before what I was using was uh, copper extenders that were used on batteries and now what I'm using is stainless steel bolts that are going through. And you can see that and it it's really produces a real steady frame. It's turning out to be quite a nice cell. So this along with the revision here, which are two stainless steel hollow tubes between each side, which now connects the plates, this makes this cell very, very hardy. And this would just about complete it as far as the cell goes. I've got some work to do on the top and that'll be done. I don't know whether you notice this or not, but here is going to be the water sensor. This also is stainless steel. It comes out through the top. So by connecting this piece to either one of the terminals here, you get a flow through the electrolyte from one to the other and that tells you you have enough water. So when the water or electrolyte hits this post here, which is stainless steel, you get a complete circuit. And that's going to help considerably also. What I've been trying to do is figure a way of doing this and making it really sturdy. All my other sensors are fine, but I'm trying to get this cell as sturdy as possible and I think this will do the trick. That and this new electrode that goes to the top. You can see this is very hardy. And again, it's all stainless steel, so now there is no part other than stainless steel that is touching the water at all or is even in the cell at the same time. Here's a good view of the water sensor that comes down. And again, the two stainless steel bolts. These are improvements that I know it's been worth waiting for as far as I'm concerned. And I've been trying to get this cell as sturdy as possible. Uh, there are plenty of cells out there that I don't believe are as sturdy as this. I'm getting a lot of email. Uh, by the way, you can send me an email at johnarons at hydrogentap.com. I'm always glad to correspond with everybody. Please keep it as civil as you can. I'm getting a lot of email about the Myers commentary I did on one or one of the videos. That was a video that was showing my explanation of what Myers did. As I write back a lot of times, I do not believe that Myers was giving enough information or the information that we have is not enough to recreate what he's got. And that's my position on it right now. As always, positions can change. I am getting a lot of email on how to construct it. I have done a lot of testing on it and I have not been able to reproduce it. Perhaps I'm just not smart enough to do that. The other email I'm getting is on the installation in the Honda. You know, a lot of people are asking when I'm going to have this ready. Uh, the cell is now finished as far as I'm concerned. 
the installation that you've been following. You can see how far I've gotten along on that. This will be the actual tube that it's going into. This is the focus tube and you can see the two outlets here, one higher than the other. And that is because I intend to have a cooling system, a radiator as such, that will be in, in the system. And you can see how they play out here. If you want to go to my site, hydrogentap.com, you'll see the cell that is up there. Pretty good uh, description and shows you the size of everything. Uh, this, I'm going getting ready to update the picture of the cell to reflect the new stainless steel electrodes. That will be hopefully tonight. As far as the tube goes, the tube will be this one here that you're seeing and it has been complete. I'm just readying it for the installation. One of the problems I'm having, or it's not a problem, one of the things that I'm working on is the installation itself. The fittings that have to go on the cell so it, so it mounts properly in the car and you will be seeing everything. I've been doing the miles, mileage check on the Honda and it's uh, been coming out about 26 miles to the gallon and it's been about five fill-ups. I'll be using those numbers and I'll show you those and then we'll go from there. Hopefully the test will start at the end of this week I should have it installed. One of the problems I'm having right now is getting a good uh, one-way air flow device. I've sent away for a couple of them and they have not been good enough to use. So as soon as I find that, that's going to make uh, things go a lot faster. It's uh, the back flash, of course, that I'm looking at and those one-way valves are important. Most of the valves out there are at about 3 and 4 PSI and 5 PSI. We can't use anything that high. It's got to be around 1 PSI. Again, if you want to go to my site, hydrogentap.com, you'll see this cell, and I've got the dimensions on it for you.